Welcome back to the IGCSE Computer Science Code 0478 Guide. In this chapter, we will be discussing about databases, which is part of exam paper 2. This is actually the final chapter of the syllabus and will probably also be the last video of this series. In this chapter, you will learn about what databases are used for, the structure of a database, data types in a database, validation on a database, and database query by example. So what is a database and what are they used for? A database is a structured collection of data that allows information to be easily extracted based on the conditions. Databases are useful in preventing data problems because data is only stored once. This prevents duplication, and the data store will also be more consistent. Databases are used in various places such as hospitals, hotel bookings, mobile phones, and video games. The structure of a database. In a database, data is stored in tables, which consists of records and fields. A field identifies a piece of information for a thing, object, or person. The field basically refers to a column in a database. The record is a collection of fields for a thing, object, or person. It refers to the row, rows in a database. An example of a record from this database would be this one right below. A primary key is a piece of data which is unique for every record in a database. In our case, the employee ID is our primary key. A secondary key is a field that has not been chosen as a primary key in the database. In our case, the secondary keys include title, gender, last name, and first name. Moving on to the data types used in a database. Some common data types used in a database include text, which is used to st store a short amount of text, an integer, which stores a whole number, date slash time, which stores a date or time in a given format, currency, which stores a monetary value with the currency symbol, a boolean value, which stores two values, uh, and a real number, which stores any possible number. Databases can also be victims of errors, where data is input correctly, incorrectly, sorry. Validation checks can be used to ensure that data is input correctly in its required format. Some validation rules that can be set include range check, for example, the price of a product must be between $10 to $50, type check, a person's name must only contain letters, format check, date must be entered in date month year instead of month date year. Land check, a username must be exactly 10 characters, and a presence check. This ensures that data is present in the field. Database queuing by example. In the exam, we will be given a database and are required to query it. Queuing essentially means to request data from a database under given conditions. First, let's read the question carefully. A database table, trees, is used to keep a record of the trees in a park. Each tree is given a unique number and is examined to see if it's at a risk of dying. There are over 900 trees. Part of the database is shown. In this question, it is asking us to write a query to identify at risk trees over 100 years old and to display the type and position of the tree. We start by entering the required fields, which include type, map position, age in years, and at risk. We do not have to include the primary key or tree number since we are not asked to. In the table row, we enter the name of the database, which is trees. We do not have to sort anything in this question. Next, we are asked to display or show 
the type of, the type and position so we can put an x or tick the two boxes for the criteria the age of trees has to be above 100 so we add a greater than 100 under the age in in years we are also required to identify trees that are at risk so we place either y or yes or true for this moving on to example two a database table performance is used to keep a track of performances at a local theater. State the number of fields and records. The fields are the columns of a database. Here, there are one, two, three, four, five fields. The records are the rows of a database. Here, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight records. Give two validation checks that could be performed on the show number field. We can use a format check to ensure that the number is of a specified format. A presence check can be used to make sure that it is not left blank. And you can also write length check and type check. Since the question is not asking us to explain, we can simply state the validation checks and still be granted full marks. Write a query to identify jazz performances that are not sold out. Display the date and the title. First, we enter the fields which include type, title, date, and sold out. On the next row, we write the names of the database, which is performances. We do not need to sort anything in this question. Next, we need to display the title and date. So we can put an X or tick the two boxes under the title and date column. For the criteria, we are asked to identify jazz performances that are not yet sold out. Under the type column, we write jazz for the criteria. We are also asked to find tickets that are not sold out. Under the sold out column, we write no for the criteria. And that's it. Exercise question. Pause the video and try to solve the question by yourself. Your answer should be similar to this. So, by the end of this video, you should know what a database is, the uses of a database, the structure of a database, data types used in a database, validation in a database, and database queries. The resources used in the making of, of this video is shown to the right. We are officially done with the entire IGCSE CS syllabus. Thank you so much for watching my videos and I wish you guys all the best for your exams. I hope that my videos have helped you guys understand CS better and I guess that's it for now. You can leave any suggestions or questions in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as fast as I can.